Hello students, my name is Dr. Gajendra Purohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics and BSc. So today I'm here to discuss infinite series and introduce in another test that helps us determine whether a series is convergent or not. For that, the D'Alembert ratio test is an important topic and lot of questions are formed in the exam on this. Even while studying power series, the radius of convergence is determined using this test. When we will study power series, we will discuss that as well. If there is any positive term series given as in summation un. If the limit as n approaches to infinity un plus 1 upon un is determined to be less than 1, then students, this series that we have here is convergent. If its value is greater than 1, then in that case it's divergent. But if the value is equal to 1, then the test will be considered as failed. Many students get confused about timing and selection of the numerous tests they need to take. So when we deal with series where a factorial term is involved or terms such as n into n plus 1, n plus 2, in that case the method described is easier to apply. You can use it easily to solve the question. Let's take an example. As we have this series here, see 1 plus 2 power p upon 2 factorial, 3 power p upon 3 factorial. So now tell me students, if I have to write the nth term here, then the nth term will be n power p upon n factorial. Am I right? The formula we have is limit n tends to infinity. See the factorial which means this test will be applicable. We will get un plus 1 upon un. Calculate it. So limit n tends to infinity. So un plus 1, this is the series that we have. The nth term of this series is this. We will put un plus 1 upon un. So we replace n with n plus 1. So it will be n plus 1 power p upon n plus 1 factorial. Here it's un. So if we put un's value below, then we get n power p upon n factorial. So we will write this factor on top of it clear. Let's move ahead. This limit n tends to infinity. This is n power n plus 1 power p. So we will leave it as it is. Okay. And this is n factorial. So n plus 1 factorial is written as n plus 1 into n factorial. Right. Let's say 5 factorial equals to 5 times 4 factorial. Then we simplify it by 1 factorial. So by this we will get n power p. So you can see n factorial will be cancelled out with n factorial. So now the n power p that we have, we will write this with it. But the n plus 1, what we will do here with it? Limit n tends to infinity. So students, here we take n as a common factor. So it will be n power p, 1 plus 1 upon n power p upon n plus 1 n power p. So these n power p cancel each other. If n tends to infinity, then this becomes 0 when we put infinity. It will become 1 upon infinity equals to 0, which is less than 1. So that means this series will be convergent. It's convergent and you need to keep that in your mind. See this question that I will explain. That if this series that starts with summation n equals to 0 to infinity and factorial of n divided by 5 to the power n is convergent or not. So students, here the nth term that we will get is n factorial upon 5 power n. And here we will check the limit n tends to infinity. Un plus 1 upon un. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you one more thing that two or three tests can also be applied in any question. Now you need to see and apply the one which is easy to use, right? So it is n plus 1. So wherever there is n, we will replace it with n plus 1 upon 5 to the power n plus 1 upon un. This un will be n factorial upon 5 to the power n. So this 5 to the power n will move to the numerator. This is 5 power n and 5 power n plus 1. So 5 power n terms will cancel out. I'll handle it later. This is n plus 1 factorial. I can write this as n plus 1 into n factorial and you will see. So we will have 5 power n multiplied by 5 and 5 power n and n factorial, right? So n factorials cancel each other and so do 5 power n. The result tends to infinity, which is greater than 1. So this series will become divergent, right? If it is less than 1, then it's convergent. And if greater than 1, it's divergent. So this is how to solve this question. So we have a question and it asks that test the convergence of the series where x is positive. We have x here, which is positive and you need to find out its convergence. So students, this will be n is equal to 1 to infinity. n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1 x power n. So here the un that we get will be n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1 into x power n. So whenever we get this type, then we apply ratio test here. So we have here limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 upon un is equal to students. It will be limit n tends to infinity. And here we will write un plus 1. So this will come as n plus 1 whole square minus 1 upon 
whole square of n plus 1 plus 1 x power n plus 1. So, here we have un plus 1 upon un. So, we will write it here as it is. So, it will be n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1. So, I will move this n square plus 1 term to the numerator and this will be x to the power n. Now, we simplify this. So, here we have the limit as n tends to infinity. So, x power n will cancel this. So, we have x left here. I will write this x later or maybe now itself, right? Now, we see that n square is common. We take n square common. So, whole square of 1 plus 1 by n minus 1 upon n square. So, students from here, we can take out n square as common. Then we get whole square of 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 by n square. So, I take out n square from here from both terms. So, it will be 1 plus 1 by n square in first term and 1 minus 1 by n square in second. So, what do we get here? The n square terms cancel each other out in both these places. And if we put n tends to infinity, then this will be 0. This is 0, this will be 0. And this is also 0, right? All of these are also 0 here. We are getting this 1 minus 1 as 0. So, students, we will get 1 here, right? Because this is all 0. And see, here it is 1. And here as well, it's 1. So, from here, the value of this will be x. So, it will depend on the x that what we will get. If we find the value of x, specifically the value of mod x, and the resulting value of mod x is less than x, then in that case, it will be convergent. If we take the range from minus 1 to 1, then the values lying between will be convergent. You might be thinking what the outcome would be if we substitute x with 1 here, right? What happens if we replace x with 1? If we put 1 in place of x, then in that case, n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1 will come. Because this anyway does not satisfy the necessary conditions that we have. So, the series does not converge at x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 because it fails the Leibniz test. We will discuss this further. So, we have this series convergent between minus 1 and 1. Next question is test the convergence of the series and we have x, x square, x cube in numerator where the general term is x power n. Here, n equals 1 to infinity. Notice that the sequence has 1, 3, 5 and so on. So, odd terms are there, right? If odd terms are there, then what type of odd terms will we have? We will have 2n minus 1 here when we put the value of n as 1, then we get this. So, what's the next term? Pay attention. It's the even term coming up. See, the next one is 2n, right? So, what we find? We find the nth term, which is un. Specifically, it will be x power n upon 2n into 2n minus 1. That is what you get. And we know that whenever such a question comes, we will apply the limit comparison test. The limit as n approaches infinity, we will have the value un plus 1 upon un is equal to the limit n tends to infinity. Here we will have x to the power n plus 1. And here in place of n, we put n plus 1. So it will be upon 2n plus 2. And here we will place n plus 1 in place of n. This 2n plus 2 here, this plus 2 will become minus 1. So it will be 2n plus 1. Okay, so now we will have un. Next, we will put upon un here as that was un plus 1. So, what are we getting here? This un is x to the power n and this term goes up here. So, it becomes 2n and 2n minus 1, right? Let's move on to next step. When we get such questions, then we take the limit as n tends to infinity. Cancelling x power n plus 1 and x power n simplifies to x. So, from here, you can take n common. So, this will be 2n square. And from here, the value we will have is 2 minus 1 by n. And students from here, you can take 2n as common and this will come out and become 4n square 1 plus 1 by n and this here will be 1 plus 1 by 2n. And when you put n tends to infinity, then firstly this n square will cancel with n square. These all will be 0. So students, after solving this, the value that we will get is this x from here and we will get 2 from here after cancelling out these and here we have 2 times 2, 4. So this 4 from 4 will be cancelled out. So, we have 2 times 2, 4 and then 4 gets cancelled by 4. So, the value here will be x. Now, students, I want to iterate that whenever we perform a test here, the value should be less than 1, right? It should be less than 1, meaning the mod of x should be less than 1. Then only we have the series convergent, right? If we talk about this, so from here, the value of x is going to be between minus 1 and 1, right? But students get confused that what if it is equal to 1, right? Because in endpoint, it's going from minus 1 to 1. If I tell you that I replace x with 1 here, suppose in this series, if I put 1 at place of x and minus 1 at the place of this x, then this series will be, look carefully if we put 1 here, what type of series will it become? n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 upon 2n, it's 2n minus 1 here. And we know that this series that we have from the comparison test is convergent. It's 1 upon n square type. 
Here we have un and vn is taken as 1 upon n square. Limit of un upon vn will be finite. Both behave the same. It was explained in the video that I uploaded on itab. You can watch that. So it will be convergent on 1. If I put minus 1 in place of x, right? So at 1, it's convergent, right? Because in this interval, it is convergent. It converges when it's equal to 1. Let's discuss the case of minus 1. So n is equal to 1 to infinity. This will be minus 1 power n upon 2n into 2n minus 1. It is an alternating series. We will study it further. But if you haven't checked it yet, then check it on the i tab. This is a decreasing alternating series. That meets the Leibniz test as this term becomes 0. When n tends to infinity, which means this series is convergent towards minus 1 as well. If we have to find the value of x, then in the closed interval of minus 1 to 1, this series will be convergent in this case. So we can do this very easily using this method. So next here, test the convergence of this series, given here we have the nth term. So students, this un that we have is, it is root 2n minus 1 upon 3n minus 1. If we apply test here, then it will be limit n tends to infinity of un plus 1 upon un. So students, after solving this, we will get limit n tends to infinity and it will be 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 upon 3 power n plus 1 minus 1 into here we have un. So the un here is in denominator. So this un term will be written here in reverse like this, right? So this will be 2n minus 1 and on top we will have 3n minus 1, right? Multiply them together, then simplify it. Here we have, what is the value of this limit as n tends to infinity? Because the root is placed over both. So here it will be 2n plus 1 minus 1. And 3n minus 1 upon here it will be 3n plus 1 minus 1. And we will have 2n minus 1 here. Is it understood students? Now what will we do here? We will take the term common. Clear? So what will I do here? That whenever such question comes up, then the limit n tends to infinity. This under root will stay as it is, right? So take 2 power n as the common factor. Once you've taken it common, you'll be left with 2 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n, right? Because here it is 2 power n plus 1. So 2 power n into 2, right? We do the same here. If we take 3 to the power n common, so it will be 1 upon 1 by 3 power n divided by. If we do here, so here I take 3 power n common. So it will be 3, 1 minus 3 power n. And from here, we will take out 2 power n common. So it's 1 minus 1 upon 2 power n. So these terms will cancel out, okay? And when you take n tends to infinite, all the terms here will become 0. So we are left here with 2, 1 and here with 3, 1. So students, the value that we have of this will be 2 by 3, which is smaller than 1. And if it is smaller than 1, then by D'Alembert ratio test, this will be convergent series, right? So in this way, we can solve this type of question very easily. Comment its answer in the comment box and also share how much time it took you to solve. Like it and share it and subscribe to the channel. And for more videos like this on Infinite Series, go and check out. If you are preparing for CSIR net gate and IIT jam exams and want to enhance your short tricks, check out the complete playlist here and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone. Bye.